Hello leather crafting and more friends. Today we're gonna we're gonna show you how we transferred the uh, the bear onto the leather. We took a uh, made a copy of the bear and we uh, put it on the uh, leather. We put a piece of carbon paper, white side up, always black side down. And we transferred the bear onto the leather. Very, very easy and simple way to do it. And uh, real quick, you want to make sure that you, uh, when you tape the bear down nice and straight, that the tape also hits the uh, carbon paper. You don't want anything to move. We transferred the bear on there. Of course, we drew the sunshine in, and uh, we've got to draw in the hills here a little bit, and we'll do that a little later on. Real quick, <clears throat> these are edge bevelers, and then this is just a beveling tool, and uh, before we get started, we're going to use all three of these beveling tools. And real quick, let me get them here where you can see them. They're three different sizes. They make them all different sizes. But you'll need uh, you'll need to go from a bigger one to a smaller one as you come around the curves there. But we always want to get the leather wet. The side we're going to be working on there. You don't want to get it drenching wet, but you want to get it wet enough where you can uh, kind of tool the leather. We got several hammers that we can use. Always wood on metal. If you use a metal hammer on this, it'll flare it out there for you. But uh, real quick, we're going to try to show you how we tool a little bit here. Tooling the leather is fairly simple. We just want to get it, get the beveler, the edge. And if you see that it's at an angle, you can see that the beveler is at an angle there. Each one of them. And this one's even at a more of an angle. So we have to be careful with the smaller one. That we don't go too deep. But we're just going to kind of... We want to take the beveler and turn it a little bit and raise raise it this way a little bit. We don't want to go too deep with it. And then we're just going to kind of pull it down the, the line that we've uh, that we use our draw knife. I'm sorry, our uh, swivel knife to cut all this out. You want to stay right on the uh, right on the line there. When we did the spider, we cut it in, and then we used a small beveler, and we just we just want to barely come around the uh, the spider there. Some of it you have to be very very really really careful what you're doing there and you can you come around it with that but uh, we'll continue on here hope that's not making too much noise for you tooling the leather I'm not going to say anybody can do it but uh, it's not that hard. It's just the learning process. Once you learn how to do it, it's like anything else. You've got to learn how to do it. But we go the one way, and then we'll come back and do the other side. I'm just going to kind of tap it out there. And I'll come back and do this side here real quick. 
This is part two of the leather sheath there, by the way. We're going to tool leather today a little bit. And you can see it's kind of giving it a three-dimensional look there. And we'll come in with a little smaller bevel, or yeah, edging tool, beveling. And uh, we've already started right in here, so we're just going to kind of... And you'll notice that the uh, spider web, these are at a curve. You want them to kind of curve to give it that three-dimensional look like it's moving in the wind there a little bit. And we're just going to kind of tool these in real quick. And as you go up the, uh, the, the web there, you just don't want to go too awful deep. And we'll switch over to the smaller one here so we can kind of get up in this tight spot right here. There we go. Now we'll come back down here and uh, we'll start another row. But first, let's, uh, let's come right. We should have done all these to begin with, but then, anyway, we can always come here. You want to tilt that back just a little bit so it'll move for you as you're tapping. Let's move over to the next one there. Real quick. If you use the pattern, it does make it a lot easier. You can draw it in there free-handed if, uh, if that's how you like to do it. I like to cheat every once in a while. It, goes by, it makes it go a little faster. Let's go ahead and tap this one out. And also, we took the beveler and we went around everything here and I like this nice border we'll probably come in with a starburst on it a little later on I'll show you what that looks like in the next video maybe but we're going to come up here and we're going to put the uh, little cross sections of the web in like I say very, very simple. Once you kind of get the hang of it there, you'll find out it's not as hard as what you think. It's the not knowing part, the little bit of fear that you got that you're going to mess something up. You're not going to mess anything up because you always got more leather. And you can always kind of correct your mistakes if you make a mistake. Come back and put something else in there right over top of it. These, we just don't want to go too deep right here. There we are. Let's do one more here. Kind of show you. When you work on it, it kind of uh, it brings it to life there for you. Like I say, we're using three beveling tools, and uh, this is probably the best one out of all of them. It really fits in the in there, in the corners pretty good. And uh, actually, if this is the only one you had, you could do the whole entire thing with it. But since we have more of them, we'll just go ahead and uh, try to uh, tap these out for you. A tool of leather. You want to give it that uh, three dimensional look. You want to. Yeah, let's just keep going. Because if you turn it up on its corner, you just kind of tap there. You can get it to work for you. You don't actually have to have all three of them. I 
All right. I want to thank you for coming by the channel and watching the video where we're making the uh, we're making the sheaths for the uh, the knife that we made, and we're going to try to put the spider web on there, just like what's on the blade. Again, thanks for coming by and watching the video. We do appreciate it. We hope that you subscribe to the channel and that you kind of learn a little something. We're actually trying to learn how to make the videos on our phone here so we can teach you uh, how to do a little leather craft. With all this going on in the country right now, we're all stuck in the house mostly. We need a nice little hobby and leather crafting is one of the best ones I can think of. You have a wonderful day. Again, thanks for coming by, and we'll catch you in the next video. In the next video, we're going to be tooling here, and uh, we're going to we're going to use the stitching chisel, put the stitches in, and we're going to get ready to sew it up.